Hey, good evening. It's a Wednesday, August 28th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. It's after sunset, the dusk is settling in, the dark is in, but you can still see the hay bales that work the fields today and got those bales of hay. It's a beautiful, calm night here. But what I want us to focus on is Psalm 63. We're going to be looking at it for the next few days. And it's, it talks about where you and I spend much of our time. David introduces the psalm by saying he's been in the wilderness. And you and I know what it means to be in the wilderness of life. It may not be the physical wilderness, but sometimes we feel alone. We feel lost. We feel hopeless. We feel dry. We feel like we have no energy. We see the psalms, the proverbs, they're designed to reach out to us in that time. These passages of Scripture from the Spirit of God are able to shape and focus and retrain our emotions so that they actually work for us and not against us. And Psalm 63 is one of those beautiful psalms that does that. So David starts off, he says, O Lord, you are my God, I search earnestly for you. So he acknowledges right off the bat, I'm dry, I'm searching for God. So he acknowledges that he's dry. That's the first thing. But then the second thing, the solution is to search for God. Not to look for better situations, not to change people, not to change my life, not to get some new program. I need to search for God. And then he tells us just how much in the rest of verse 1, how much he's searching. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. See, he's not trying to find alternate ways to survive. He knows he needs God and God alone. And that's what he's pursuing here. When you and I are crushed, despairing, mad, angry, frustrated with life, when we feel dry, don't, don't take it out on other people. Run to God. Search for Him. Make that your energy. Don't spend your energy on some other plan. Plan. Fixing people in situations is not going to solve your problem. It's not going to end the dryness. So that's what he says. My soul, my whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. So he acknowledges the fact that he's dry, but then secondly, he understands I have to search for God. And then thirdly, God is the one who can help. Verse 2, I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. See what he's saying here. God is the one with power, glory. And the sanctuary, now the temple of God is within us. We have looked at him. We have seen his word. We are encouraged by that. And we have hope. So that's what these first two verses are telling us. Brothers and sisters, when we encounter this dry period, when everything thing just seems hopeless, I'm deserted, I'm lost, I'm in the wilderness, put your focus on God. Search for Him. Don't waste your energy on trying to get it out of other people and situations. Run to God, because He's the one with the power, with the glory, with the one who's able to heal us. The one who's able to make our emotions turn in a way that brings honor to God, that thrills us once again. And we'll see as David goes through the psalm, we see that's exactly what happens. But this starting point is so important. We acknowledge that we're dry. We run after God. We search for Him because He's the one with honor and power and glory who can truly heal us, who can bring us the water of life from His life-giving Spirit. And that's the thought for this night. It's just a short one, but it's important. And as the day draws to a close here, I pray that you, in your dry time, in your wilderness time, 
that you will follow David's direction and search earnestly for God. Because it, this land apart from him, this world apart from him, is a dry place. But he's where hope is. Thanks so much for being here, and I'm really excited to look with you at the rest of Psalm 63. You have a great evening, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you.